Hello everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Welcome to another video. I'm going to be starting a regular video series where I talk about all of the toxic chemicals and food additives in use in the United States. Now those of you in my academy heard my recent lecture where I dived into this in a lot of detail going over the science, things that authorities don't want people to know, things that authorities certainly don't want, people like me talking about out loud, but everything is of course true. So I'm going to give the more sanitized version in these lectures in bite-sized chunks, no pun intended, because these are extremely important things to know about. What could be more important than the food that hundreds of millions of people are consuming? So in this first video, I'm going to talk about two chemical food additives. They are known as BHA and BHT. That is butylated hydroxy anisole and butylated hydroxy toluene. This is in widespread use in the United States as a food preservative. Remember, it's all about increasing the shelf life and the bottom line. That's what this is all about. Now, these preservatives have actually been in use since the 1940s. They're banned in other countries. I'll come to that in a moment. And they are added to stop fats from oxidizing and becoming rancid. They are, quote unquote, synthetic antioxidants. They are found in the United States in many different food items, including cereals, snack mixes, meats, nuts, drink mixes, gums, and they're also found in other industries, including cosmetics, rubber, and plastics. That doesn't sound very appetizing, does it? So BHA is considered a category one priority substance by the European Commission on endocrine disruption because, quote unquote, it interferes with normal hormonal function. Many other authorities consider it a carcinogen. It is banned in the European Union, it's banned in Japan, it's banned in Canada, it's banned in Australia, and it's banned in New Zealand. But hey, it's deemed safe in the United States. And it's interesting because companies, United States companies like Kellogg's, will have it in their US versions of food, but not in their European versions of food, because it's not allowed over there. But let me share with you some research here, which talks about this in more detail. So this is an article that was actually published way back in 1985. And remember, in many of these other countries, BHA and BHT have been banned for a long time. Carcinogenicity and modification of the carcinogenic response by BHA, BHT, and other antioxidants. So here we have a study which was actually done in rats. Carcinogenicity tests showed that addition of the antioxidant BHA to the diet of rats induced high incidences of papilloma and squamous cell carcinoma of the forestomach of both sexes. Male hamsters given BHA for 24 weeks also developed papilloma, showing downward growth into the submucosa of the forestomach. These results indicate that BHA should be classified in the category of sufficient evidence of carcinogenicity as judged by IARC criteria. BHA enhanced carcinogenesis in the forestomach and urinary bladder of rats, but inhibited carcinogenesis in the liver, that's scant consolation. BHT enhanced the induction of urinary bladder tumors and inhibited that of liver tumors, but had no effect on carcinogenesis in the forestomach. BHT could be a promoter of thyroid carcinogenesis. So some very worrying statements there in this piece of research. And here we have an article which was published in a mainstream media publication, Cancer, BHA, Human Carcinogen Based on Sufficient Evidence. BHA is widely used in many products, including even dog food. So let me share with you some examples of some food products that contain these chemicals. I recently went shopping. I'm in the northeast of the United States. I'll share these couple of examples with you. So here we have Fruity Pebbles, a cereal, and it's got lots of bad things in it, which we'll go over another time, but specifically here, BHT and BHA added to preserve freshness. And here we have Kellogg's Fruit Loops, and you can see here at the bottom again, BHT for freshness. So the take home message of this video is avoid BHA and BHT. It's not allowed in many other countries where it is deemed to be harmful. The United States deems this safe. 
diligently read those food labels. That's the ultimate thing that will save you and your family. So we'll certainly talk about more toxic chemicals in the future, but remember, these are some examples of the toxic chemicals that are driving so many of the problems we have in the United States with chronic diseases, chronic inflammation, and obesity. Remember, in the United States, a lot of food policy is shaped by industry, by lobbying and business contacts. So it's very important that you are aware of these things and you stay on top of everything. Nothing could be more important than what you're eating. Thanks everyone for listening. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out my online academy and my uncensored platform. Those links are down below. Hit the like button if you like this video and the bell button for more similar videos in the future. We will talk again very soon.